This is the Rocky Balboa Street. Let's start there. Him jogging, you know, the, the big hero, right? The Absolutely. underdog. Yeah, and uh, we threw tomatoes at him uh, when he ran down the street. You threw tomatoes? So there was a fellow by the name of Doc. He didn't say much, but when he did, you listened. So when Rocky's running by, you know, they don't always do the take the right way. They stopped in front of his place. And he was trying to sell food, but everyone was paying attention to Rocky. So he hit him with a tomato. That's a true story. I'm Alex Guarnaschelli, and I love a great food story. So I'm hitting the road to meet the people behind some of Philly's most beloved restaurants. This is Fix Me a Plate, Philadelphia. So we've got neighborhood pride, that's for sure. Oh, absolutely. What do we this. do on this street? Is this where you come to get the best produce? You know, the best, is this really a deeply Italian? Well, what has happened, every ethnic group right. gets an opportunity here. Now, hey, Chow, how you doing? Hey, how Charlie are you? across the street is doing the same thing that my father and my mother did, raising a family, sending them to school, and making a living. And See, now a that's thing. amazing. And through food and bringing culture to the city. Way. Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, and you know, now they're getting involved. They're feeling at home finally. And that's a good thing. That bridge is being crossed. You have three brothers? I have two other brothers besides me, yes. So Basil there's three and three of you. Right. And three uh, girls. Okay, so wow. So your older brother's the, the the boss. The boss. And you? And I cook. And you cook. My job basically is five days a week. I come in early in the morning. I get everything in place. And your other brother makes the meatballs. Basil makes the meatballs. And that's great. A guy named Basil makes meatballs. I mean, that's... Well, it's Basilio, but don't, don't say that. No, no, no. We're going to shorten it to Basil. <laughs> it was the second year of my high school. And back then, if you were failing, they would suspend you. OK. So I got sent home. Suspended? Suspended. I walked in the door, and my father said, what are you doing home? I said, I got suspended. He goes, why? Were you fighting? I said, no, I'm failing. So he told me to get in the car. He said, you go in that building and get your working papers. School's not for you. And I've been working ever since. Do you think he was right? Yes. I don't regret it. But do you think there was some kind of privilege in being the one that was picked to, to do the meatballs and to make, to do the cooking? That's sure. pretty serious. Because this is our livelihood. So you're, you didn't go to the school, you went no. to the school of your dad, and your dad graduated you from thing to thing as he saw fit. So you did go to school. Just yes, a I have a different kind of school. I think a lot of people think Ninth Street in Philly and they think that's that iconic, rocky, underdog story. What is it besides that about Ninth Street? You said you have a Ninth Street mentality. What is that? Nice mentality. By that I mean just doing what we do. I mean, just, you know, going to grade school in the corner, and after you got out at 3 o'clock, you better be behind that stand at 4 o'clock, or you were in trouble with my father. We had to work. On Saturdays, we all worked, except Frank a little bit, because Frank was mommy's baby. Uh, but on Saturdays, uh, we didn't watch cartoons. What did we, you do while they were working? Excuse me? Who no, didn't work? Had, you weren't here that much on Saturdays. What did I you work. Do? No, you didn't work the stands that much. Base. Maybe because Pick up for me, Base. Base, I didn't work. what's up? I didn't work on Saturdays. I worked every no, Saturday. No, 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 not too much. Oh, no, no, no backup Alex, from Pippa Base. I worked, Alex. Believe no, me. Frank, I, I believe I you. Yeah. We have to eat. Yeah, what do we do? Because yeah. it's hot. We, we, I know how serious dig in. Uh, Yeah. I mean, I have ahead. to have a meatball. Base, why don't you Look at how the tomato sauce sits on top of the meatball. This is beautiful. Get down. Get close to me. I love how tender it is. It's not just the taste, it's the texture. And it's, it's even all the way through. Mm -hmm. And then the sauce is really tangy, like tart, in a really good way. That sauce in our meatballs is what we're known for. They call us, they call us a gravy house. Well, that didn't just happen out of thin air. That, that happened the because- The sauce is unbelievably because special. Because it's him. So, and he needs to be reminded once in a while how important he is and how important his job is. How important your job is. Thank you. You're he welcome. Says, we don't say it, but. Muffin. You can say you love me, we're, it's all right. We're brothers, love we love each too. other. Yeah. 
What's your profession? Well, my profession, what Describe do I do here? Describe your profession. My profession, my job here is to make sure we get through the day. And when I get home, I can put an X on the calendar. That means it got done. To make sure it flows, yeah. I keep still the don't know what you do. I keep <laughs> You said put an X on the calendar. Yeah. My job is to make sure that the, the restaurant runs. In the beginning, we I always felt like we sort of got passed over by other, other names in the city and other big names. We finally got recognized the last several years. I mean, with write-ups in the paper and recognition uh, other ways, but the customers, the customers love our food. The main thing about our restaurant is it's consistent. And we always hear that from them. Another good meal, nothing changes here. Hey, that's my job, to make sure nothing changes here. I've been waiting. You didn't even know your old job. <laughs> I had a free, I forgot what I do here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Considering your parents, what they set in motion for you, what would they think now? They will I'll definitely tell you they're happy we kept it going. There's a picture of them at the end of the bar of all of us with them. And uh, some nights that when I'm done work, I'll, I'll be at the end of the bar and I look at that. I said, boy, they're, you know, things are going good. They're happy. We're all together. I think they'd be uh, proud of the family that we've maintained and how we uh, support one another. I know it sounds so cliche. No, it's, it's actually like, honestly, yeah. I'm having trouble not, you know, <laughs> it really, I mean, it's touching. Yeah, it's the truth.